Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. This is actually a timeless collective reading for the sign of Capricorn. Knight of Cups here, wow. <laughs> and the star. Somebody here is coming towards you and they have a beautiful offer, but you have a person here that's trying to create an illusion and make you feel like somebody is coming towards you with bad intentions. A lot of you, you definitely have a counterpart in your life and your connection is under a heavy, heavy attack. Somebody is trying to shape shift and get into your energetic field. They want very badly to make you um, think that you're not chosen, that you're not beautiful, that you're not healed, that you're not a healer, that nobody is ever going to come into your life with good intentions. This is because you have decided to move in a different direction and not choose a person that wants you to go into a contract with them where they pretty much want you to work for the devil look the hierophant in this particular deck this hierophant lights are off this person here is most likely a leader in some type of occult or something like that this person is a narcissist they don't have any real heart they don't have feelings emotions or anything this person wants you to do dirty work and if they're if they're not if they don't have you doing it, they still want your protection. By them being connected to you, they are protected. A lot of you have a really, really, really good karma that you built up from several lifetimes. Like I said, in a past lifetime, you could have been in the occult with this person. Maybe you were the one that got out. This person is upset because you do not want to be in hell with them. This person is 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 I mean they've sold their soul. They can't get out of something. And you have a person that's coming into your life that can see your, your gifts. They see your talents. They see your abilities. They see the contract that the two of you have. And you have a person that's in the background that's constantly trying to create these illusions. Somebody is doing mind control domination spells on you because they want to cause you to end something or end yourself. They're trying to confuse you. This is a good time right now. You need to put everything in God's hands. If you don't know who to trust around you, detach from everybody. But do not be, do not be confused. <clears throat> yeah. Somebody here, I feel like there's some kind of demonic attachment to a person possibly. This beast is tired. Somebody here is constantly doing some type of spell work. They're constantly sending something after you. But it's a it's a connection here or a partner or someone in the spirit that is constantly protecting you. Somebody here is very quick on their feet. <clears throat> so each time somebody sends this type of demonic, you know, entity or something towards you, it's being blocked. Somebody is upset. Yeah, judgment because they're facing karma. And somebody here is also upset because they are becoming awakened to the fact that everything that they're doing is backfiring. It's not working. Who is the Knight of Cups? Queen of Cups. See? You have somebody that's coming towards you. They have the same heart as you. And somebody is always in the background watching, stalking, and spying. This person is unbothered. <laughs> the person that's coming towards you, like I said, I feel like this person, they're spiritually gifted. They're spiritually aware. They're very close to God. They're not worried. This person may actually embody an energy that's very much like Archangel Michael, or they work very closely with Archangel Michael. This person, yeah, they may be delayed, but they're totally awakened to what's going on. They know that someone here is after your gift. Somebody knows a person is, is after a gift that you have. Some of you want somebody wants to um have a child with you. They only want a child so that they can try to sacrifice it. And you have somebody here who is pretending that they care about you, most likely, and they're disappointed because the world is here in the reverse. You're not starting over with this person, and so that means that all of their bad karma is kind of come rushing in towards them. Yeah, because they keep trying to attack you. Somebody here is in the background constantly trying to attack you. They won't come towards you and apologize, but now here you are the star. Your energy is, <laughs> you're like on that, that God frequency. Whatever they're doing, it's not going to work. And like I said, you have Archangel Michael protecting you or you have a person in your life that works closely with Archangel Michael as well. It's like a fortress around you. They cannot get to you, but they're doing everything to do it. All they're doing though is creating like a, these people are literally going to take themselves out. Page of Wands, 
the King of Pentacles and the Tower. Three cards came out on the star. Somebody took action. I feel like somebody took action and they, they paid somebody to create a tower for you. And I hear somebody saying now that they, they want to take this back now. Whatever they've done because they've come up against somebody here who is aligned with the sun. Like, you're so tapped in. Look, this emperor in the reverse. <laughs> in the reverse. This person here is completely out of order. And they already know that they've lost control with this magic. Somebody here has been watching you, stalking you, hacking, spying. They've lost control because now somebody now they somebody has been trying to get into your energy nonstop. And they see for a sure fact now that they really messed up. Because they took action. They took action and they paid someone or they've invested a lot of money or this is just a king of pentacles here. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, we are about to go into Taurus season. Somebody here is going to have a major tower. A major tower. Because for it's something about you, but there's a connection here. God has a purpose and a plan for you. And for many of you, it involves another person. Whoever this is that keeps trying to attack you, especially your love life, they don't want you to... Somebody here... Um, I've had so many readings about some of you who are in some type of spiritual contract where it's like you're supposed to have a child with somebody. It's, it's really weird. It's almost like somebody is trying to rush in and have a child or start a business. They're trying to come in and make sure that they are somehow forever connected to you because there is something that you're going to give birth to. Either a child, a business, an idea. It's something that you're going to give birth to and this person is trying to make sure that they are forever tied to you because they want to be able to benefit off of whatever this is. Like I told you guys, there is like decades and decades of karma that's being cleared away as well as a lot of ancestral generational things that's being cleared out. You have a lot of these friends, family members, and especially lovers from a past life. They are out for blood. These people are not your friends. I don't care what they look like on a soul level in the spirit realm. They are here to assassinate you. And I don't know who this person is that keeps coming into these readings that is so hell bent on all of this quantum physics, metaphysical type of stuff. Nothing is wrong with that. All of it is very true, but there's still a lot of people who are going to forever and always believe in, in God, the most high, and that's it. Somebody here really thinks that, um, because I'm hearing and I'm seeing alchemy of souls, somebody here thinks that they know so much about about the spirit and about the soul that they're somehow going to get rid of you and as your soul is says they're just gonna take it for themselves that's really what somebody here is trying to do either they're trying to sacrifice you or it's like someone here is trying to create a, sit a situation where there's a child or something that can be sacrificed this whole um ritual that's coming up or whatever that so many people know about it that's in the occult they make sacrifices to pretty much like to the devil. There's different guys like, um, and you can look this up for yourself. I don't even want to talk about it too much because I don't even want to be putting that energy out. This is stuff that you guys need to research yourself. Please stop walking around here thinking and, and talking all day about the, the ex and this person. There's much bigger issues here. And these karmic energies are in your life to bring you so much drama and hell because in a past life, these people literally were responsible for sacrificing you. This is past life karma coming back. Like they are trying to sacrifice you. Whoever this, this is not everyone's reading. If it's not you, it's someone that you know that this is happening to. Queen of Swords. Somebody wants you to look and feel like for sure, like you're not beautiful, you're not worthy. Someone here is trying to play on your mind so that it's easier for them to attack you. It's like somebody wants you to fall and worship them. This is sick. The world card. Yeah, see, you've already closed out a cycle. Somebody here knows that there's, they cannot escape death. Death is out here twice. And here we have it, the King of Pentacles. There's a Capricorn, Virgo, a Taurus, masculine out here. This person is constantly taking blow. Uh-oh. 
king of wands this person has earth and fire in their chart they keep taking blows because they're gonna experience the major blowback the devil is not gonna get you they're not this person there's no way they send death magic to you it's going back to them i don't care if this person did this years ago energy never dies even if they're not it for some of you this person is not actively doing this yes they are spirit say yes they are they're active but somebody here has been actively trying to reverse some magic that they did before let me y'all don't understand when it comes to these rituals and stuff these people they spend months if not years doing this some of you you don't realize but there's a person in your life that has been doing rituals on you for years years all in preparation for a certain transit, a certain time, these people are very tapped. It's the occult that you're dealing with. They're very tapped into astrology and all things, quantum physics, metaphysical. They know exactly when to attack you. And the fact that you keep elevating spiritually is really, really making this difficult for them. But it's something about the timing right now where somebody, it's like they're running out of time. And the truth is, like anything, if they cannot sacrifice you, you know their energy go is going back. Somebody is now trying to change something with with the law. It's like you can't change physics or, or spiritual law. Somebody they they are trying to stop something now. It's like somebody is um trying to with this world card, and I saw the world in the reverse before. Somebody is trying to undo a cycle. It's like either you walked away from this person or they walked away from you. It's almost like this person is trying to spiritually come in. And I, this has been coming out for weeks. Somebody is trying to like come in to spiritually make some kind of peace offering to you. Because if you still hold this person in any type of regard, then they may have a, a chance to beat this death. But they sent this magic to you. They offered you up as a sacrifice. See, now this person is the king of pentacles in the reverse. And look on this card, even in the upright, this person is holding this pentacle back. Somebody here is in regret about taking action towards this star, this chosen one. They're in regret about it. And they, they're doing everything to try to reverse time. Somebody here already knows it like their time is up. There's a faded death here for this person. And they know it. The king of wands. Look. Look at how this person has his head down. Because somebody already knows. Like oh my goodness. If somebody figures out. What we're. That we know. If. If somebody figures out. This ritual is, is taking place. Or that it was me that did this. They already know. Time is up for them. The death is out here twice. This king of pentacles. They, they know what time it is. Don't let this person fool you. They already know. You sent that death magic out and it's coming back. And in this particular day, no matter how many riches, no matter how many friends, family, no matter how big this cold group, clan, or anything else is, you cannot escape death. But what this person thought they was going to do was they thought that even if death came for them, that they were somehow going to be able to take your soul. No, you're going to die and you're still not going to get this soul that you collected. And it's just that. It's, this is starting to really piss me off. And it's starting to even piss me off. Sorry for the rant, but I'm just going to say it because. And it's no shade to anybody because everybody is on a, a different timeline, different frequency. But I just want those of you, especially who watch me. OK, I can't control the readings that come out, but I do want you to understand how serious some of these things are society people friends family your job and every y'all need to understand the dangers of conditioning even in tarot tarot can be very dangerous if you don't know how to use it if you misuse it if you abuse it and if you don't actually know what you're listening to or what you're tapping into it can be extremely dangerous because a lot of readers a lot of the messages that come out are very surface based. It's very surface level. People are talking a lot about what's in the 3D in tarot, but they're not letting you know a lot about what's going on in the 5D, what's going on in the spirit realm. Everybody spends all day and, and all night talking about who's lying, who's cheating, but do y'all really know why these people are doing all of this lying, cheating, scheming, and scamming? These people in your life are bots, literally. It's like, 
they, they, they're agents of the devil. They are coming in to scheme and scam you and to trick you and to break you down so that you literally can be chained to the devil. These people are working. They're coming together in pairs and packs, like groups, trying to get sacrifices for the devil. Literally. And, and I saw this. I don't remember what it popped up on. Hold on. Let me see. And that's why I told you guys the other day, you need to start monitoring the stuff that's happening to you. Different moon cycles, different times of the year. Some people, some people think, you know, like, oh, I just have seasonal depression. Is it really seasonal depression or do you have a friend, family member or a lover that is doing the same ritual on you every single year? Have you really thought about it? So. I saw this on something. It says here, April 19th through May 1st. April 19th is the first day of the 13-day satanic ritual day relating to fire, the fire god Baal, um, the sun god, also known as the Roman god Saturn, Satan, the devil. This day is a major human sacrifice day demanding fire sacrifice with an emphasis on children. This day is one of the most important human sacrifice days and as such has had some very important historic events to occur on this day. You can research that for yourself, but it's April 16th. If you think that these people are not lighting up candles and doing all types of rituals right now to sacrifice you or some people's children, you're crazy. You're crazy. Because that's exactly what they're doing. And they are playing with your mind. These people are trying to attack your mind. So that you will think that you are batshit crazy. <clears throat> batshit crazy. So that you will just think that you're, you're you're losing it. You know, nobody likes you. And when they attack you, you it, it, you'll just fall. And and the, like I said, these people, I'm telling you. And, it, and, and listen... That's why I've been talking so much the last few weeks, too, about people misunderstanding value. A lot of people are so quick to trust people who have money, people with power and of affluence, and you don't understand what these people have done and what they're willing to give up and sacrifice in order to have power. That is what Satanists do. Satanists don't believe in a, a, a God. They don't believe in hell. They don't believe in, in anything. They believe that they are truly God themselves and that they can create anything in this world as long as they have power and they can mind control people. That's why I tell people, like, we talk about oh, the Jezebel and the Judas. Y'all better stop running to everybody that you think have money because you don't know what they're doing to get it. And there's, no, there's a lot of people who are extremely wealthy. Please never understand, never mistake what I'm saying about that to... I'm not trying to say there's anything wrong with having money. You can live, be an extremely wealthy person, but it's all about your intentions. There are people who have gotten wealth and they are trying very hard to maintain their wealth because they are literally sacrificing people. Friends, family member, why do you think that insurance fraud and all of these other things, why do you think it is so, it's a huge scheme, it's a huge scam or scandal, but there's a spiritual basis behind it. Wake up. Please wake up. Some people are truly in danger and all they know is, oh, but my ex. Forget your ex right now. Please. Your ex or, or who your ex or who the next part. That's not what's important. Some people's lives are actually in danger. And I'm not trying to scare anybody because if, if you serve the most high that I serve, then you know that you're good. But you still need to be aware that this is what's happening around you. When you're experiencing these ruts in life and you're down and you're out and you're sad and there's financial blockages and that's the reason these people are trying to spiritually break you because they want the light in you. These people literally want your soul. No lie. I'm not. It, it, it's, it's no coincidence that this stuff is happening. The chariot. You will be able to move forward past these obstacles and challenges but it's like somebody here is very flamboyant somebody has gotten just out of control and it, for some people to be honest you have people that have been doing this stuff to you they already know that they're in trouble their time is up so at this point they really don't care what they do to you they don't they don't feel like they have anything to lose they don't have anything to gain so it's like they're just having fun with you now look at this the higher thing. 
this person here has already lost control. Their magic, they know they've lost control. They know they've lost this battle. 1,000%. This Hierophant, this Satanic cult leader or whomever, fake um, dark priests, they already know that whatever they sent out is out of control. They have created something that is too large for them to manage. It's not that what they've created is too large for them to manage. They didn't know about who they were sending this up against. You're too hard to take down. You're too big for them to take you down. That's the problem. Oh, my goodness. I mean, literally, just fire rituals everywhere. Temperance. Why is this temperance here? Something flipped over. Page of Wands. Somebody here, they're, they're completely just like in total awe. They're, they're, they keep trying to get to you. They're, they want to know, how did you become, are you an earth angel? Are you an alien? They don't, you're a supernatural being. These people, they keep doing things to get close to you. That's another thing too. Let's just talk for a second too about um, spiritual battles. And I have my opinions and some of them are strong. You don't have to agree with anything that I say right and whatever your beliefs are and however you choose to do things that's your business but i as a seer can tell you some of these people who are attacking you some people who you know participate in, in magic and different rituals and and it's protection um some people do return to centers and all this other stuff some people have to be very careful because what, what spirit is showing me right it's sort of like the queen of wands versus the high priestess the king of wands versus the hierophant okay or the hermit notice how i'm saying fire versus like the hierophant and the high priestess the hierophant being earth normally like taurus energy the high priestess um usually like um pisces scorpio energy these people high priestess hierophant energy some of them are leaders they stand before people some of them they're in the back but they have a lot of knowledge the hermit too virgo energy you have these queens and kings of wands these to me are your witches your wizards your warlocks they take action just like satanist right Satanist people, Satanists, they because they don't believe in a heaven, a hell, a good, bad, whatever they they believe in their will, whatever they want is what they're gonna go after. They don't believe in turning the other cheek or no, they're always down for the action, right? Fire, passion, the devil, hell, like they're always down for doing whatever it takes to get what they want. They're relentless. The reason why people who are truly hierophants and, and high priestess, the reason why they oftentimes are able to win these battles is because of their sacredness. And when you understand the art of war, a high priestess, you will never know when a high priestess is coming, how a high priestess is coming, what they're going to do. You just know that the high priestess oftentimes will be undefeated. Some of you don't realize that if you get, if you allow these people to control your mind and you fire back at them, that's what they want. These people are trying to understand how your mind works. This, this, this is also going towards, and I'm not going to talk about it here. You have a lot of human studies being done. People are trying to figure out how to map your brain. They want to know, like they want to get a closer look. How do you react and respond to anger? How do you react and respond to depression? How do you react and respond to abandonment? To reject? That's the reason why they are triggering all of your wounds. But see, you, th th these, are, these are, are hidden operations here in the, in the earthly realm, but also in the spirit. People are trying to see what is this that you have that is making you pretty much immortal and invincible. 
So when you fire back and you attack these people, you're allowing them now to get into your energy. They are getting your, your energy. You light up a candle and you're going to... Now they know. They know how strong you are because you just got this an energy exchange with them i i can't tell you don't do counter magic don't do what you do i'm just telling you as a real high priest as a real hierophant as a real hermit you can't even find a hermit you can't find you can't just walk up to a high priestess you never know what they're doing and that is always their advantage that's the reason why for a lot of you Everybody wants to watch you, stalk you, spy. They're trying to figure out, what are you doing? What, is, what, what kind of spells are you doing? What kind of, and they can't find anything because for a lot of you, you're not doing anything. <laughs> you're simply just an earth angel. You're chosen. It's in your blood. It's in your DNA. So you have to be careful when people, they're trying to get you into these ritualistic practices with them so that you will exchange energy because they're trying to access all of your energy because so much of it is so sacred and it, it's, it's inaccessible. They can't access it. So when they trigger you enough and make you fire back, then it's just like, boom, you, you, you shoot somebody. They know from the, the bullet what kind of gun you have they know these people are trying to trick you into firing back because they want to know what weapon are you firing from hmm. y'all better learn and some people's purpose is to be the person that does it but you need to know what your purpose is Everybody, you got witches and you got high priests. You need to know what your role is. Some people, they're all about retaliation and all that. Let them do that. But I feel like the group I'm talking to, that may not be for you to do. So you need to be careful. Some people, you're not meant to be seen in the spirit. Because like I said about that Achilles heel message, you are God's secret, secret weapon. Let people say that you're weak all day long, but God uses you as a secret weapon. Because like I said, like a high priest, a true high priestess, nobody will see you coming. Hangman. Hey, you're fully awakened, aware, and look at this. The magician, this magician is tired. And the fool, this person <laughs> just jumping, they might as well just jump off the cliff. There's nothing they can do when you become fully enlightened and awakened. There is no more you sitting there around. This hangman is standing upright. You've already received the download, just like me. I've already gotten the download. Play with me if you want to. I'm, I already know. I was channeling. I was channeling information about today two years ago. Play with me. Do it. Have at it. A lot of you watching people, they think you don't know, or maybe you don't fully know. I would encourage you, pray, detox, do what you need to do so that you can become more enlightened and aware of what's really going on. So that when this magic comes at you, it will instantly backfire. But it goes back to what do you allow your brain to actually think and process? How is your mind processing information? And this is why I'm saying even tarot can be very dangerous. Because if you watch a tarot reader and every single day, every message is about he, her, they, she, it. And nobody is ever talking about what's really going on in the spirit and how you need to recognize why these situations are actually in your life. When you should be looking right, you're going to be looking left. When you should be dodging the bullet, you're going to be walking right into it. Please look at the bigger picture. 
these different spirits of, of karmic energies coming towards you, these people are, they, they're placed here to aggravate your soul, to piss you off, to have you stuck in a rut. Only so that it's easier for the devil to attack you. They're being sent in by the devil himself. And that, like I said, <laughs> look, somebody is like, whoa, what? Because once again, these energies, they're very, very flamboyant. But when you stand up for yourself and you let these people know, oh, no, you didn't have me psyched out of fool. Look what happens. These people who think that they, they got it all figured out, they're like, oh, man. They're divine feminine, divine masculine. They didn't buy into this. Now they're sitting back and like I said, they're trying to take back what they did. Whoever these people are, they're already afraid because they're afraid of how much you know. Now they're trying to. Oh my goodness, can we reverse this? No. You've been doing these rituals for the last three to ten years or however long. No, you can't do it. J oh my God. Look at this. Justice. The Hierophant and the High Priestess. Did I not just talk about this? Came out together. And you know what? This is a divine couple. Justice is coming for this Hierophant in the upright. And this high priestess, this is not your tradition. This high priestess can see far beyond the veil. This is not a high priestess that, that you have access to. King of Cups. Remember I said there's a false person out here. You got a King of Cups that's trying to emotionally manipulate you and walk you into this trap so that you can be swallowed whole. But you have a person at home who truly loves you. And they love the fact that the two of you have a divine connection. That's the high priestess. You've already ascended beyond this. And you have somebody here who is young and dumb. Who is a high priestess. But again, they rush to do things. And they, they fall every time. And they fail. Some of you too, you're dealing with people around you. They keep rushing to do stuff. And then they try to ghost you. Then they're left out in the cold when karma comes around. But justice is coming no matter what. For this Queen of Cups here, who is a counterpart to this King of Cups, they together are the Hierophant and the High Priestess. Very high ranking in the spirit. And you will be getting confirmation of this very soon. That this situation will be healed. King of Wands. <laughs> Somebody here is, is about to really shoot their shot to make sure that this tower hits. And every person that had any hand in watching you, stalking, hacking, spying, or playing any kind of game, I'm telling you, they're not going to know. There's a true emperor out here. A true masculine that you have a contract with. And this person's bringing in an offer, but they have to hide themselves for your own safety and protection. This person's going to rush in towards you. They know who you are. And they see that you've grown. They see who you are in the spirit. But first, there's a contract with a demon that has to be completely severed. Like I be, I keep saying, yeah, you're the you're the divine feminine. There's somebody that you keep on holding in high regard, and you need to stop because this person they have been trying to sacrifice you to the devil. The tempers is here in the reverse. Somebody thought that everything was all figured out. This person has both their feet in the water. They thought that they were chilling. This is about to be turned upside down. Because somebody thought like, yeah, we, we, I got this. No, this divine feminine is entirely too strong. Divine feminine will reign supreme over all. Period. That's the judgment here. And this King of Cups person is for sure going to face judgment for everything that they did in the dark with this devil. They watched you. And Archangel Michael watched them. Look, here he is. He looking real stupid now. Because he, he keeps coming at you. This person here is being... Op like, this person works for the devil. Literally. This is a Satanist here. And you're still going to be able to be free from this situation and start off because you were always chosen. You were always golden. You're going to walk completely out of this cycle here. And this, this masculine here, this spiritual spouse, this past life, karmic soulmate or whomever, this keeps watching you. And they feel like they, they're some type of... This person feels like, like they have so much knowledge. Every bit of knowledge that they have, they... they 
it's not that they they're not aware it's not that they don't have the knowledge it's not that they don't have power either but they cannot have power over you and then too what's so interesting about this is somebody has been attacking you there's a divine counterpart that's in your energy now because you finally come to the awareness and awaken that this person that you thought was your counterpart is actually not your counterpart. They, they were actually sent by the devil to destroy you. Now that your true counterpart is in your energy, that person is protecting you. But the fact that this counterfeit person here keeps attacking you and they're attacking your love contract with this other person it's like they're this person is now attacking a hierophant and a high priestess two people who work directly for god this person will face death period they want to burn you at the stake but they have no idea y'all i swear to, i just picked up this deck and at the bottom of it is the coffin and i you I I seriously just said this person will face death. I had no idea. False person. This false person in your life will face death. Main male. They want to be the main male in your life, but they're a false person. This person has been working hard, toilet labor on ending everything in your life. Hmm. And it's all going to backfire. Wealthy man. Mm -mm -mm. Pathway. High honor. Wow. You have a true divine masculine who is wealthy in in spirit. I try to make that clear to you guys because you could meet a person right now. They may have little or nothing but who they are in the spirit. They're wealthy. And most likely, they are they've been promised wealth, but it's the type of wealth that they have that they will share with you. Some men out here, true, honestly, they won't actually inherit their financial wealth until they are in a courtship, a, a high honor spiritual union with the divine feminine. Look, courtship and despair. House and then great fortune. There's the masculine out here who is protecting a divine 44, 44 on the clock. They're protecting a divine feminine in the spirit. The two of you together are going to unlock like crazy abundance and wealth. That is the reason why you have this past life karmic person who has already sold their soul. And this past person, they could be wealthy now. They're wealthy because they've been stealing. They have been creating a, a reality of wealth for themselves by being a Satanist, by worshiping and, and working for the devil. And because you don't want to be in a contract with them, they have now decided to sacrifice you because they're looking at you now like, you don't need to be here anymore if you're not gonna work for me. And for my agenda with the devil, we don't need you anymore. But God is saying, no, <laughs> you actually have a life with someone here who is of high honor. You're not going anywhere. Somebody wants to get rid of you because they can't go with you because their book stops here now. They, they're no longer going to have wealth or anything because they don't have access to you. This person is in despair. Because you don't want a courtship with them. You have the true masculine here, whether you've met them or not. And something here, there's great fortune and stability and security coming when you're with your true masculine. So there's a lot of people's finances that have been on hold because your finances are going to come in a particular partnership. Jupiter is going into Taurus. Taurus is all about finances. Okay. It has been a very, very long time since this type of good karma came on. There's, there's blessings in money coming. And somebody has been in your life, they met you early in your journey, and they, all, they realized that you were destined for wealth. And for a lot of you, there's a mirroring situation happening between you and a counterpart. 
Your counterpart is going through the exact same thing as you. Both of you have run into past life karmic soulmates that you left behind in the past most likely to choose one another. They already know that there is a huge financial blessing with your name on it. These people have been tracking you for years in this, in this realm, in this lifetime, waiting for this very moment to take this blessing from you. And a lot of you, you don't even know that the blessing is coming. They've been doing magic on you since they met you. Main female. In bad health. Mature man. Hmm. And mature woman. I just said that. And and it to me it makes sense now. And marriage is here. There's um there's a mirroring effect happening between two counterparts. The two of you, this mature man, mature woman, to me, this is like the hierophant and that high priestess energy. There's a karmic feminine in the background who wants there to be bad health. But some of you, yeah, there's a divine masculine who has a karmic feminine that wants them in bad health, financial health or whatever, so that they cannot actually be in a connection with a mature woman. But then there's also a divine feminine high priestess out here. You have a, a master manipulator, um, satanic like occultist that is trying to destroy your life. So you, it, it's like two people who who are coming into a union for a divine mission and contract are both being attacked by past life karmics. Water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Solitude. So you may want to just be quiet right now. Something is happening very soon. And it says here, trust in divine timing. Wait, trust the process. Getting to know each other, okay? Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and conflict. It says here, confused on how to move forward. Arguments, disagreements. But there is fresh start. There's a fresh start here, and it's safe for you to love. Focus on self love and healing right now. This person that's coming towards you is your forever partner. For some of you, your forever life partner is in your life. They're being attacked. The two of you are having issues, obstacles, challenges, disagreements, and arguments because people are in the background. They're doing magic on you because they're trying to sacrifice the two of you. Both of you are on the chopping block. Divine masculine here. You're both on the chopping block for a sacrifice that's supposed to be taking place in the next uh, 13 to 30 days. <laughs> Period. I know what I'm, I know exactly what I see here. Yeah, look at this. Somebody is obsessed. This is a whole cult that's watching you. They're infatuated with you, but it's not just you. It's your counterpart, too. This is like people who are like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe that those are real twin flames. Somebody here may have said that there is no such thing as twin flames, or they said you weren't a twin flame. They're mad because they don't have a twin flame because they worship the, you know, the devil because they sold their soul. So they forfeited their, their twin flame contract if they were ever a twin flame. They now can't believe, though, that you actually have a twin flame union coming in. And they're like, oh, my goodness. And a lot of you, I, most likely, this is a past life karmic soulmate that you thought was your twin flame. This person sacrificed you for somebody else and for money. As they got deeper and deeper into a certain lifestyle and they realized that you were not going to join forces with them or let them back into your life. They actually got very serious about making you a real sacrifice to whatever or whoever it is that they worship. This person has been trying to put you in some type of alternate universe, parallel universe for a long time because they're trying to force you into their life or they're trying to force their way into your life. Because I'm telling you. They want your soul. They want your protection. They want your financial breakthrough. They want all of the favor of God, but they want to still dwell in hell. I have been saying for six months, do not give a person a buddy pass to heaven. 
Stop taking the elevator from heaven, going down, visiting these demons in hell. There's, not, it's, there's no love there. You have true love either in your life or on its way to you. Somebody here who forfeited your connection is because they said that there's no, I'm here something, there's no such thing as soulmates because they don't have a soul. They told you there's no such thing as soulmates or twin flames because this person, they're incapable of loving. So now that you're gone and they see you having the favor of God because you truly are God's secret weapon and now God is sending in another person just like you. This person that like they're just like, oh my goodness. This is definitely somebody who is very much into like science, physics, and things like this person does not believe in God, but they know that there has to be a God because you're a supernatural being. They're like this person is really sitting there like, well, maybe there is God. This is literally somebody who is on the fence. Somebody here sold their soul, decided to work for the devil, and now all they see in you is God. And they want, but but let me let me make this clear. They don't want to serve God. They feel like they can get too close to God by coming to you. They're, this person really is, is secretly hoping for a spiritual pardon from God Himself by trying to be with you. This person, they know that they're cursed to damnation. They know this person knows that they're gonna die very soon and go to hell. They know that. Or they're, they're going to live in misery forever. They know. Trust me. There's no way they, that they don't know. Dreams. Pay attention to your dreams. Yeah. You're right now learning a lot of lessons. You're manifesting. Options. It says here there's more, op more than one option in love. You need A decision needs to be made. Yeah. You need to choose. Do you want to be with this occultist or do you want to be with somebody who's a hierophant or a, a priest? Priestess like yourself. Union coming together, time for change. It says big changes are coming. Trust the trust the process. But someone here is unawakened. They're ruled by ego, and they have insatiable thoughts about you. They're projecting this energy onto you so that you will be confused and not be able to see clearly. You have more than one person in your energy, but you t you have a real devil in your energy, and they they keep getting upset that you don't want to be with them. <laughs> Because they can't get your your blessings and your abundance. So yeah, they're sacrificing you. This person has gotten upset enough to sacrifice you. And I mean th this is this is this is a real sacrifice for some of you. Like I'm not trying to scare you, but for some of you, this this is an, an actual sacrifice. I mean, they already sacrificed you in the physical because they decided to choose somebody else. Oh, but this person is spiritually trying to sacrifice you. This person has a double life that you don't really know about. And in this double life, they are absolutely a part of the occult. They're in a secret society. And I feel like they're very high ranking. They're very high ranking in this cult or secret society. And they are a Satanist. 100%. And now that you won't conform, they have it out for you. And they also have it out for whoever you're connected to. So this person is hexing your love life so that the person that is meant for you, they will they will suffer and either not come towards you or there will always be chaos and conflict between you and this person so that the two of you can't advance. It's only so that these this person that's a part of this dark group so that they can control your mind and somehow, like I said, force you into conforming and submitting to them. That's all. Five of Wands, chaos, conflict, confusion, illusions, a lot of instability, juggling here. Somebody can't make a decision. Moving on to peaceful, calm waters. Yeah, you're going towards your happiness, the Ten of Cups. And if somebody here has been trying to keep a masculine in a connection, this masculine is still going to get away from this Jezebel. Yep. This person is going to do the shadow work and healing. They're going to put an end to the version of themselves that is keeping them stuck in an illusion. Because look at this. There's two earth angels in a soul contract who are meant to come together. It is very much destined. And yes, God has a plan for this union. 100%. You guys, I hope that this resonated, gave you a bit of clarity. 
please take care of yourselves. Go within so that you do not go without. Do not allow these people to get into your energy. Don't let them confuse you, misuse you, abuse you, sacrifice you, or anything else. Okay? Be careful of what you listen to, who you listen to, where you go, what you do. Just be careful. You do not have to live in fear or be paranoid. But just know, um, it's some stuff going on right now that <laughs> you for sure need to be aware of. All right. In the end, though, I do feel like um, there is wish fulfillment. But you have anything worth having is, you know, worth worth waiting for, worth working for. And apparently for what I'm seeing here, you have something incredible coming because this this battle has not been a joke at all. I just want to pull these. Um, messages of love oracles passion try something you've never done but this friendship is leading to more you can expect an apology some of you 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 and your counterpart you could be friends you don't have to be okay but there's a connect even if you're not friends you may not even know this person you have a connection that is going to grow and advance and lead to more but something has to be balanced out and what it is that has to be balanced out is these past life karmic soulmates that the two of you have Children are important in this partnership. Yeah. See, you and somebody are supposed to have a child together. Be very careful of people coming in trying to seduce you as well. Because as I said before, there's a situation here. You need to make sure that whoever you deal with, that they are in alignment with your morals and values. Because somebody is trying to sacrifice a gift of yours. But you do have a true love connection here. A, a faded connect, um, partnership here. Trust your intuition. You and someone may be separated or you may need to separate um, or people are trying to cause you and this person to separate because of this spiritual warfare. What is meant to be will be though. So if you're being, if, if you have to separate from someone or whatever, a lot of it is due to spell work, but it's also for spiritual growth. 